Every family has their own recipe of Maltese broth, brodo tachanga, and I'm using my mother's recipe today, which was also my grandmother's. We're going to have a look at it. For our Maltese broth, I'm using two steaks of osso bucco. Uh, you can also use the shin of beef in Malta, known as jarretta. Two beef stock pots or stock cubes, one kohlrabi, Jidra in Maltese, one long marrow, two zucchini, two carrots, two large tomatoes, two tablespoons of tomato paste. And then I'm also going to add lots of local celery, wild celery, chopped uh, potatoes, onions, and some cloves of garlic. To this, I'm also adding three liters of water, some salt and freshly ground pepper. We're also using some olive oil. And I'm going to finish off with some lemon zest and some parsley. We're going to have a look at these lovely fresh Maltese ingredients. I've got here my kohlrabi or jidra. You can find it with a greenish skin, some zucchini, local, they're local, light and round or very long. Uh, I've got a Maltese lemon, which looks like a lime, some potatoes, an onion, my wild celery, which is very different to the one found abroad. I've also got some carrots, my olive oil, a garlic, my osso bucco steak, you can use any kind of steak, like a secondary cut. This comes with a bone and the marrow inside, which is very delicious once it is cooked. Tomatoes, I'm using two beef stock pots and also I'm adding at the very end some parsley and marjoram. This is marjoram from my garden. The ingredient that is probably most unusual sometimes is this uh, long marrow, which we find here on the island. Very, very uh, common on the island here. And I'm going to start by chopping up the vegetables. starting my broth with some olive oil. Next, I'm adding my onion. I'm leaving my garlic whole like that, just cut in the middle and then I lift it right at the very end so that people don't get bits of garlic in their mouth. Some of my marjoram, fresh marjoram. And I am told that there are two important ingredients in this soup. And the first is the wild celery, which I'm adding as it is and then lifting it at the very end, but it imparts a very specific flavor. 
the second important ingredient for the soup is quite a lot of black pepper. Next, two stock cubes or stock pots, and I'm adding two for a deep beef flavour. Next, I'm adding my water. And then in go the rest of the vegetables. I'm starting with my potatoes. My carrots. My courgettes, the light green ones. My long marrow. And if you noticed, I took the seeds out in the middle, the soft parts in the middle. And where it was seedless, I kept the middle part in and my chopped tomatoes. I'm adding some tomato puree. My osabuco steak. Some grated lemon zest. lemon juice. Just a little bit, about half a teaspoon. And then I'm bringing this to a boil and then reducing the temperature and let it cook on a very, very low heat for about an hour until that meat cooks very, very well and starts to fall off the bone. Our broth is now ready and I'm lifting my osobuco. And also the wild celery. As we've just used it for flavor. I'm also lifting my head of garlic. And now ready to serve this Maltese style soup. some fresh marjoram and some flat leaf parsley, a bit of salt, a slice of Maltese bread, A slice of lemon. Last but not least, a drizzle of olive oil.
I hope you'll try out this recipe for Maltese broth and you can find more recipes on my blog.